Okay, on day two of Can't Get On Land Week, and we're in Village Hall at Little Hawksley in Essex. And Steve Clark has kindly agreed to have a few words with me about um, the presentations today, um, how he found the event, and um, his own issues, um, and the community's issues here in Little Hawksley. So, so, Steve, how did you find it today? Very informative. Um, what we've found in the village, we've had no information for the last two, three years, um, trying to find out about how we can get faster broadband to the village. Um, the information today has been immense, and we've gained a lot of ways of going stepping forward to get the information to the community. Um, this, our village is very, very small, it's 150 residents, 70 homes, um, various sort of wealth in the village, and um, a few children just scattered around. Um, one of the main directives for me to come down here today is obviously the chair of the parish council. Also, my children are 11, 15 years old. Now, what I've found is now a lot of uh, their studies, their work, their environment, their social media, it's all done by the internet. Over the last couple of years, it's got slower and slower on the broadband connection. Well, it's got slower and slower. There's more and more information going through. Um, they go from Apple trying to download information for films, they can't do that. They go on for their school project work, they find it very hard to do school project work because our broadband breaks, cuts in and out all the time. In fact, one of the daughters had to get up at 2 o'clock the other morning to actually do the homework because she couldn't get onto the system because their broadband was down. Now, in the community, I get probably three or four questions a year, which is quite a bit in the size of the community on the broadband. Um, we found uh, there's also an uh, area of people that are staff and technology within the village because for one they can't afford um, the connections, number two some of the connections are not worth it. Um, and you can't put any community projects forward because we've got no connection. We are completely stuck. And as I was showing you earlier on our testing, when I did the testing on our broadband, when it's very, very busy, our connection speed can drop down to 200 which is no good for doing any downloads or anything. And also, within the village, there's, um, there's a lot of businesses um, that work from home, which obviously is the way to go now. But in my case, and a few people I speak to, they just cannot download anything. So they're having to go to a central hub somewhere to be able to just do their general day-to-day -day business. So the, their sort of... There's no advantage now of living in the country. You have to drive into a town to run your company. And I'm finding that's, uh, you know, I find that discussion coming on quite often. So the information you brought to us today, and from County Broadband, which has been very helpful, is a way forward for us to be able to get something decent in the community. Okay, I'm glad to have been of some help. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs>